Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will show the last step from our cohort report where we will add date slicer but there is a small trick that we need to do in order to make this slicer to work properly so let's start the class and I will explain the solution so here on my Power BI file I have already a field here to drag my month year column from the calendar table and let's do that so after adding this slicer on the page the first step that I like to do is to drag a measure here in this case the sales measure and filter out everything that is not blank for the sales measure so in this case we will be removing all the months that doesn't uh, have any sales so now if we try to slice this matrix by this slicer you will notice that uh, for example for December of 2010 is not removing the whole line here just the first month and the same happens for January and so on so in order to solve that issue we need to understand what's happening with our model so if we see here we have our dimension our calendar dimension filter our sales uh, fact table and our customer filtering our sales table but we don't have a relationship between those dimensions because that's usually not the uh, common behavior that we want to utilize in Power BI. But in this case, we will need to have this relation in order to uh, filter here the customers, the first order by the date from the calendar table. So we can uh, create this relationship here and we will notice that this relation is inactive by default and if we try to make it active it will return an error here saying that if we activate this relationship we will have ambiguity because we already have a path here to filter our sales table and if we activate this relationship we will have another path because we will be filtering calendar customers and then sales so Power BI doesn't know which uh, relationship to use so that's why it's inactive we can keep like that but now we will need to figure out a way to activate this measure so to do that we go to model calculation groups and we need to create a new calculation group uh, it's already showing here a new calculation item so we can call that relationship customer date and we need to do a calculate of our selected measure use the use relationship function to activate this inactive relation and then this will be our solution so once we use this relationship here uh, this relationship will be active for this calculation and will inactive the other one because we cannot have two relationships active for the same end table. So now we just need to go back to canvas and we need to drag and drop here this calculation item. So once we do that, nothing changes, but if we try now to filter uh, December out you will notice that the whole line is removed so it's working and that's the final step that we have for our cohort series I hope you enjoyed this series and if you have any doubt or suggestion please let on the comment box below and if you like this type of content please uh, let me know in the comments or hit a thumbs up so I can continue doing this type of videos bye bye